Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about free surface effect. Now, all of us, we say that there is a virtual loss of GM. There is a virtual rise of G. And when I ask the mariners and even senior master mariners, they say that uh, this is because of sloshing of the water. When the ship rolls on the sides, the water goes up. And that is the reason for the virtual rise of G. No, that concept is not correct. We'll try and understand why there is no rise of G and it is only virtual rise of G. Why do we say it is virtual rise of G? So if somebody says, what is the effect of free surface? I want to hear the answer. The effect of free surface of liquid is reduction of writing liver. The reduction of writing liver as the liquid goes to and fro. For that matter, any rolling object, for example, if there is a cylindrical object, in the rolling it goes from port to stop. Water that comes on the main deck that goes from port to starboard during the rolling, right? All these effects which will cause the ship's center of gravity also to go to and fro in the rolling will reduce the writing capability of the ship. So if there is excessive free surface, then the ship might become negatively stable. That means the stability that is shown by the ship is negative. That means the GM as if the GM is negative, right? So excessive free surface therefore is very dangerous. So what happens actually when uh, the liquid or any weight goes to and fro? What happens is the ship center of gravity goes along with the liquid sideways parallel and proportional as the term I use always and this causes the transverse separation between the center of gravity of the ship and the center of buoyancy of the ship reduced. This transverse distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy would reduce even if the weight was shifted vertically upwards. We know that when a weight is shifted vertically upwards, the ship's center of gravity also goes upwards. And when the ship's center of gravity goes upwards, what happens is there is a reduction of the metacentric height that is GM. Right? So we will try to understand this with a simple example. But before I go on to that example, uh, suppose the ship is damaged from underneath. Say for example, a double bottom is open to the sea. So we assume that in the principle of constant displacement method of building, we assume that that water that is seen in the double bottom is not the property of the ship. It is the property of the sea. So there is a difference. There is a difference between the water that goes to and fro on the main deck or the water that goes to and fro in an intact double bottom and the water that goes to and fro or rather remains stabilized with uh, the damaged tank. You know, that liquid in the damaged tank, it does not cause the ship's center of gravity to go to and fro. So uh, in the calculations of constant displacement method, we assume that a damaged compartment is fully open to the sea and we do not allow the free surface effect of that compartment, damaged compartment. Now coming back to the principle of uh, free surface effect, let us say here is the ship that is inclined. This is the present water level and original water level is over here. Assuming that there was liquid at this tank with the center of gravity over here, right? And during the uh, uh, roll, the liquid goes on one side. This center of gravity, G, shifts to this point, G1. Now, if you see the original positioning of center of buoyancy and center of gravity and meta center. The uh, ship's center of gravity will move parallel and proportional to small g g1. That means 
in this direction G moves to G1 G moves to G1 and what happens B moves parallel and proportional to this line and therefore B would be somewhere over here now if we see the writing lever of the ship the writing capability which is provided by the writing lever GZ you know if there was no free surface effect we would have got the writing capability of the ship given by lever GZ but now because there is free surface the GZ is reduced to G1Z1 now this much writing capability I would have got even if the G instead of shifting here had shifted to this position I call this position as G2Z2 right so you have seen physically the center of gravity moves sideways but virtually or effectively the center of gravity of the ship moves upwards so this is therefore called virtual rise of G or virtual loss of GM right so uh, please understand one thing basically if somebody says uh, that uh, free surface effect causes the writing capability of the ship be reduced or the writing capability of the ship is reduced because of free surface effect is absolutely correct so what are the things which are important like uh, on board ship if we have a tank say for example you have a tank over here right you have a tank over here if the liquid is filled up so much or the liquid is filled up so much it does not make a difference what is important is what is the transverse distance through which the liquid can move right uh, and whether the tank is filled up by two third or one third or half it does not make a difference for a rectangular tank of course if the tank has got a, a, a different uh, kind of shape say for example if there is a, a tank over here we are talking about this tank which is narrow over here and broad over here in this position there will be larger free surface effect in this position of liquid there will be a smaller free surface effect now <clears throat> uh, this is understood that uh, what is the transverse movement that is allowed for the liquid to move will decide the free surface effect and for a rectangular tank for a curvilinear tank we will see sometimes later on for the rectangular tank there is a formula the length of the tank right the length in four and a half direction into bq upon 12 gives the moment of inertia of the free surface so you've seen the length of the tank and the breadth is important what is the quantity of liquid inside is not important this is moment of inertia and the unit is meter raised to 4 now when we multiply this with the density 1.025 say for seawater then this gives free surface moment so you can see when we multiply the two we get FSM and the unit for the SM, FSM is tons meter right so at the moment at a, a, a basic level let us understand what is the moment of inertia of what is the formula for moment of inertia for a tank whose the liquid free surface is uh, rectangular right and one of the ways to understand the free surface effect is this particular wedge which moves to and fro can be considered as a pendulum which is going to and fro as if the pendulum is suspended at this point so the weight of the wedge weight of the wedge can be assumed neither over here nor over here nor over here this weight of the moving wedge can be considered as at this point right? and this causes the virtual rise of G from this point to this point this means whether there is a suspended weight 
suppose you go to meat store, frozen store, there's sus some suspended weight over here. That suspended weight is going to and fro. The position of the weight is considered at this point. Similarly, the wedge that goes to and fro, the position of the wedge or the weight of the wedge can be understood at this point. So this also causes the virtual rise of G. This is one way of understanding the virtual rise of G. Another thing which we must understand is if there is a tank, it causes certain amount of free surface effect. If we divide the tank from the center line, then what happens? If we divide the tank from center line, the free surface effect is reduced by four, four times. And if we divide the tank in uh, three parts, that means suppose there was a tank of width 24 meters. Now we have the tank, three tanks of eight meters each, right? The free surface would be reduced nine times. So uh, effective way of reducing the free surface is dividing the tanks in two or three or four parts. Right. Let us do a very simple example to understand the application of free surface effect. Suppose there is a ship of displacement uh, 15,000 tons. The KM is 8.4 meters and let us say kg solid is uh, 6.5 meters. So there is GM solid that is 1.9 meters. Now uh, there is a tank causing the free surface effect there is uh, sea water there and the length of the tank is 10 meters the breadth is equal to 4 meters the density as you know is 1.025 let us see what is the free surface moment so that will be 10 into 4 q upon 12 into 1.025 and divided by the displacement that is 15 thousand tons this is the free surface correction and let us see how much it is so that is uh, 640 divided by 12 equal to into 1.025 equal to divided by 15 gives me the free surface effect as 0 0.0036 0 0.004 let us say So a GM fluid would be 1.896. So this is a simple uh, uh, application of the formula and the free surface effect.